Hi, everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thanks for joining us for this uh, webinar on the Bilingual Ottawa program. My name is Denis Dorval. I am the project manager of the Bilingual uh, Ottawa program at the ACFO Ottawa. You can see my email is uh, on your screen right now with my phone number. Uh, I'm always available to answer your questions about the, uh, the application process. Uh, so during this webinar, before we start, uh, we had some problem with the Zoom platform. There's been lots of articles about uh, security questions about the platform. So we took uh, care of uh, the security measures to make sure that we were all safe uh, for us to, for you to join uh, this webinar. So only the people registered to the webinar have access. Only the hosts have the right to speak. Uh, no screen other than the host will be shared, so you're going, only going to see my screen. And the webinar will be recorded and broadcasted after. So we are recording so other people can see uh, the content of this webinar. You can, however, uh, write comments or share resources in the chat. And you can also ask questions during the, the webinar in the Q&A. So on, uh, on the low end of your screen, you have the Q&A option. So if you want to ask questions all along the presentation, I will answer the question live as soon as you ask them in the uh, Q&A option. So feel free to ask any question. We are here. We own, uh, there's, we're not a lot. So if you have any questions, I'll be there to answer you during this uh, live presentation. Without further ado, uh, let's start with the, uh, well, let's test the chat before. So let's share a hello in the chat uh, while indicating your name, uh, your neighborhood of residence in the Ottawa city, your title, title or occupation, and your organization or company name. Uh, so we can know who's joining us for this webinar uh, today. Uh, so the agenda for this webinar, we'll start with the overview of the grant program. We will see the objective of the grants, a little description of the projects that we're looking to uh, finance, some indicators uh, of what type of projects we are looking for and what type of impacts we're looking to fund, uh, some selection criteria, uh, for the projects, who's going to be the jury for the different projects, uh, what's the application process guide looks like and where we can find it, uh, our website and the online platform to submit a, a grant application. So for a program overview, the ACFO Ottawa created this micro grant program to support the community organization and businesses of Ottawa to generate new projects in uh, bilingualism and francophonie. This type of project aims to create small initiative of bilingualism in Ottawa, and it can be created by a nonprofit organization and private businesses. The grants awarded uh, will be a value of $10,000 or less, and funding projects will be completed within a six-month period. So this is the second round of a first round of activation project that we already funded. Uh, so uh, we are funding other projects to also grow uh, what francophone and bilingual initiative are, are being created in Ottawa. So first of all, the grants are for a francophone, bilingual, and anglophone nonprofit organization or private businesses that are located in Ottawa. Projects are completed between August 2020 uh, and all the way through uh, February 2021. You can submit a project even if you receive funding during the first round. So if you are an organization that received funding, you can still submit another application for the second round. There's one final report uh, to submit. So during your six month period, there's only one report at the end of your project uh, to be submitted so we can have the results of your project. And there's two payments uh, that will be provided to uh, help you create this project. So the first payment is going to be 90% 90, uh, 90 of the full amount and 10% will be uh, submitted after you've submitted your final report. So we can evaluate if your project was a success or not. Uh, so bilingual Ottawa program objective. The objective of the program is to increase the recognition of Ottawa's bilingual character, to promote francophonie, and to foster the collective interests of the francophone community across the city of Ottawa by investing in concrete projects designed by and for the community. So which means you can create francophone projects or you can create bilingual projects. And it has to be a uh, by and for the francophone community or the bilingual community. So you have to make sure that the concerns of the community and the francophone community is in your project. Uh, the result that we're expecting to uh, 
generate with those projects are increased bilingualism across Ottawa as a whole, so across all different regions of the city of Ottawa, a, a better cohesion between Francophone, uh, First Nation, Métis, Inuit, and Anglophone communities in Ottawa. So we want to build bridges between communities because we are one big community in Ottawa. A more active, vibrant, inclusive, and dynamic Francophone community in Ottawa. An increase in bilingual services in Ottawa. Uh, and increased dialogue and collaboration among various key players of the Ottawa community. So to uh, apply for the grant, there is four fields of uh, projects that we want to support and that we want to finance. The four fields are vitality, inclusion, community economic development, and bringing, uh, bridging the gap. Vitality is to increase the francophone culture and increase availability of sports and leisure activities, which means you can uh, send a project for artistic sports or leisure activity and help the development of educational tools, for example, for arts and culture. The inclusion pro uh, field of projects is a more welcoming, inclusive, and diverse francophone community, which is offering, uh, for example, French language classes for anglophones or allophones, uh, integration activities for people with an immigrant background. And we have specific population that uh, we are aiming to uh, for your projects so that you can aim at minorities inside of our minority, uh, of our francophone minority. The Third uh, field is the community economic development. So it's to increase the place of the francophone community in the economic sector, including offering of bilingual services in businesses and posting. So we want to make sure that francophone services and bilingual services uh, are uh, more uh, in on posting. So we can see visibly there's more uh, francophone offering, but also uh, in your personnel uh, or in your business uh, services, we have an active uh, bilingual service uh, offered. And the last field is bridging the gap. So it's to create stronger ties between the Francophone, Anglophone, and First Nation Mitzis Inuit communities. So it's to, for example, adapt an Anglophone program to, for the Francophone groups. It's to include Francophone artists in an Anglophone festival, or it's to exchange, uh, it's to exchange for example, uh, between the Francophone and the Anglophone communities to create a better a bilingual environment in the capital cities of Canada. So the program indicators are the what our uh, own funders are looking to, uh, to have as a target. So for example, uh, we want to prioritize on the project that aims on uh, helping women, seniors, people with disabilities, youth, post-secondary students, early childhood, First Nation, Mitzis, and Inuit communities, LGBT, LGBTQ plus communities, newcomers, and racialized communities. So what we want to do is to help minorities in, a, uh, in the minority of Francophone population in Ottawa. But we also want to make sure that you generate uh, interesting objectives by the number of partnership that you're going to be creating with your project with the number of direct and indirect participants in your activities, which means number of direct participants are participants that are directly implemented into your activities, are participant to your activities. And indirect participants are people who are uh, aware of your activity, who uh, have seen your promotion for your project, for example, and have felt like they have uh, some feedback to give on bilingualism in Ottawa. We also want to see the feedback uh, from your participant uh, during your activities. So we want to see the, the feedback of what people thought about your activity. Was it good? Was it not good? Uh, we, also, we also want to see the number and the nature of your bilingual activities or francophone activities that you created and offered uh, during this project. So this is the, what we want to see as an objective for your project. If you have any question during the uh, presentation, feel free to use the Q&A and the chat. I'm gonna be consulting the chat and the Q&A all, all uh, during the presentation. So uh, feel free to ask any question, I'm, I'm available also. Uh, so for, for the funding of the Bilingual Ottawa program, we already funded more than 53 projects for an amount of uh, $814,000. For the round two of the activation projects, uh, we aim to finance around 20 projects for an amount of $150. And the finance, the, the, finance is, um, the money is provided by the Government of Canada uh, from the uh, uh, Canada Heritage uh, Program. 
So this is the criteria uh, for, well, the selection criteria for the projects that you're going to uh, submit to the program. So when our jury are going to evaluate your project to select uh, 20 projects from all the projects that we're going to receive, uh, this is the uh, important criteria that you need to focus on when you write your uh, application. So it's the relevance between the proposed activities and the objective of the concerned field. So we want to make sure that what you're submitting as a description of a project fits our own goal as a funder. So you, to make sure that what we are trying to uh, have an impact on the city is also what you are doing. It's also the impact within the city. So we want to make sure, for example, if you choose to have an impact on all of the city of Ottawa, it's still impactful. But if you select a, a region or uh, some really precise impact, like if you choose, for example, to have a small group of people, but you move very, very forward with them, it's also interesting for us. So we want to make, make sure that the impact that you have with the $10,000 grant that we gave you is uh, has some relevance in the city of Ottawa and then contributes to the place of bilingualism in our capital city. Also, uh, we also have a priority on the projects that aim at women, seniors, um, the uh, population that we aim to help. But if you select, for example, the, the general public, it's also okay because you're also aiming at all those populations. But make sure to have uh, this priority in mind when you submit your application. We also evaluate the mobilization and collaboration between francophone and anglophone partners as an asset. So. Uh, if you do a francophone project, make sure that you have a francophone partners. And if you're doing a francophone and anglophone uh, project to uh, have a bilingual project, make sure you also have uh, partners in the two languages, for example. And finally, since we live uh, during this uh, crisis of COVID-19 right now, uh, like I'm doing my presentation from home, uh, we also want to make sure that even though the project is going to be in August uh, 2020 to February 2020, we want to make sure that those projects uh, can be re can be uh, are feasible. So the feasibility of carrying out the project despite the COVID-19 crisis is now a criteria for our evalu evaluation. For example, if you want to do a gathering as a uh, project, make sure that you also have an alternative if the gathering is not possible be because of the uh, social distance uh, requirements that we have today. So make sure to always uh, have this alternative in your um, submission uh, or in your grant application uh, or even think of offering for example your your gathering uh, with through the the web for example so a virtual gathering it's uh, so you have also also so the project is still feasible even though we live during this crisis for example so the jury for the activation project is the ACFO Ottawa that will serve as a jury. The projects will be chosen by the ACFO Ottawa, but will also be approved by an adversary uh, committee for the bilingual Ottawa program, made up of francophone leaders, so 12 uh, leaders or organization in the uh, francophonie of Ottawa uh, that will accept or refuse a project that the ACFO uh, has chosen. So it stays very neutral as a process. Uh, even though we are the one uh, choosing some projects, the uh, committee can refuse some projects because they think that for the community, it's not for and by the community, for the francophone community or bilingual community. Uh, so if we accept a project and the community of francophones people doesn't think it's a good project, it's going to get refused. Like in the first round, we uh, chosen some projects that were refused by our committee. So it stays very neutral as a process and it stays very for and by the, the francophone community. And the decision uh, will be shared during the month of August 2020. So you will know by August 2020 if you've been accepted or refused as a project. Uh, so it's only two months of decision since the, uh, you can apply. Your, your application must be submitted before uh, June, 20, uh, June 30, uh, th yeah, 30 uh, 2020, uh, before 11.59 p.m. The first thing I will recommend before you submit an application is to read the application process guide. The application, the application process guide is, uh, provides the necessary information for several questions, including the organization uh, eligibility, the project eligibility, what can be a revenue and, and expenses that is eligible, uh, what is the application deadline, what's the next step, what's the step to uh, do the application process 
properly. Uh, what's the information on broadcasting that's going to be shared? What's the project report? Uh, how does it function for uh, visibility after the project is accepted and the contact information for myself. And you can find this application uh, process guide in English at the ottawabilang.ca. Uh, so you can, I, I, I can't overstate how much it's important to read this guide because it gives you all the information you need to know uh, to make sure that the project that you're submitting is interesting for the jury and has a good chance of being uh, granted, for example. We also use SurveyMonkey Apply as an online platform to receive uh, application submission. And during this webinar, I'll show you how to set up an account and to submit your application via this uh, platform, which does an amazing job to make sure that everything is automatic and that you don't lose anything when you write a, an application. For example, everything is saved uh, right away when you are submitting an application via the SurveyMonkey Apply platform. There's four steps to complete, uh, to submit your application. So the first step is the information about the applicant. We want to know what is your organization, who, who are you, what's your mission. The step two is the project information form. So what is your project? What is the objective of your project? And is it interesting to uh, grant you some money to realize this project? The step three is the budget, which is really important to make sure that we, uh, what you're asking for money is also eligible for expenses. And the step four is to upload document. You only have one document to upload, which is your incorporation document to make sure that you exist legally and that you pay taxes when you have a revenue, for example. So this is the fourth step to complete on the SurveyMonkey application. And that's it for this part of the presentation. So what I'm gonna show you now is the website of the ACFO Ottawa and the and the, app, uh, the um, online process to apply to the website of the uh, uh, program. So this is the website of the ACFO Ottawa. You just press on Ottawa Bilang and you go to Bilingual Ottawa for the English page. And this is the page for the Bilingual Ottawa program in English. So here you have more information about the program, some general information that you need uh, before starting. You also have here the application process guide in English. So if you press on this button, uh, you have all the guide, which is your essential to make sure that you uh, write a good uh, grant application. With all the information, I recommend you, I can't recommend you <laughs> enough to read this document before submitting an application. And if we go back here, so this is your process, your application process guide. Uh, the webinar is gonna also going to be available after it has been uh, presented uh, after here on this button. And here it's the online platform button. So you, if you press here, you can submit your application online. You'll, we also have the funded uh, propulsion project and activation project that were funded during the first round of the uh, Bilingual Ottawa program. So it's really interesting for you uh, to see other projects that were also accepted and funded uh, during the program. So it gives you a good example of what projects we're trying to fund in this program and uh, what type of uh, grant application or project that you could create. So it gives you uh, lots of example. We have 53 projects that you can, that can inspire you uh, for your projects, for example. And we also have our oversight committee right here and, the, and our members, uh, our evaluators for our program and our funders also at the, in the website. So if I open the online platform, It will uh, take me to our SurveyMonkey platform. So what you need to do, the first thing that you need to do is to create yourself an account. When you create an account, uh, you can after uh, apply to the program. So when you create an account, you'll see this. So you, as you can see right now, it's in French, but the program is completely bilingual. So you can open the English page to have access to uh, an English program. So now the platform is completely English. So you can write, you can press on view programs. And you'll see this is the first program that we uh, offered during the first round of the Bilingual Ottawa. And the so second program is right here, the activation project round two. So there's, you can apply for grants for 500 to $10,000. So if you press more, you can press here to then submit an application. 
So if you submit an application, this is the four steps that I was talking about that you need to fill to uh, submit your application. There's information about the applicant, project information form, the budget, and upload a, letters, a, pat a patent letter or an article of incorporation. Once all those steps are completed, you can review your application so you can see all your application and then submit your application to make uh, to send your application before January the 30th, uh, before 11.59 p.m. So if I do the first step, which is the information about the applicant, I just press here and here's the form. So you can select your preferred language and then you write some information about yourself, your, your organization, uh, and then your uh, profile your social media profiles and the mission and the mandate of your organization once you're done you can save and continue editing which means uh, for example if I write something here and I save and continue editing uh, it's gonna be saved for me right now so I don't lose anything that I fill out but you can also press if you're all complete and you're sure that everything is perfect for your for this uh, form you can mark as complete so it's it stays complete and you're gonna once you the fourth step are complete you can submit your application so you never lose uh, anything when you fill something out it's always make sure to always save and you and it's always and it's also automatically saved so you don't lose anything next we'll go with the project information form which is the second step so during this form uh, you need to uh, locate where your project is going to be active so you have to select a region of ottawa and if it's the entirety of the city of ottawa that you're aiming you can just select a uh, city of ottawa but you can also select uh, lots of different regions for example if you're aiming nepean ottawa sound ottawa south and ottawa venue it's possible you can select uh, the precise region that you're going to aim your project then you write your project's name then you have the four different fields. So you can choose one or more fields, but I would recommend to not choose the f all the four fields. Make sure that it's concentrated in one or two fields so we can make sure that to know what type of projects that you're aiming uh, to do. You also write a detailed project description. So it says max 400 words. So it's not the, um, the name of the number of letters, it's the number of words. So this is a detailed project description. And then you have a short project description, which is gonna be easier for us to share after if you're accepted. So we have a, a summary of what you're trying to do as a project. Then you write the skills or expertise needed to manage your project. So you're trying to prove that you, are, you have the expertise to manage uh, the project that you're submitting. Then you have to select a population. So there's a limit of three type of population that you can select. Uh, so we can be more focused on what the real population that you're aiming, but you can also select the general public, which it's all the population are targeted in general, which is also acceptable as a project. Then you have to select the project impact. So what are you trying to do as a project? And you have the different impacts. You can still choose more than one impact, but I would recommend you to uh, choose, you know, one, two or three impacts maximum. So we, it's not spread out, for example. And you have to explain what type of impacts you're looking to have on bilingualism in Ottawa. And then you have the objectives. So this is the performance measurement. This is what we're gonna, we're gonna be looking in your report to see if your project was a success. Uh, so you identify the number of participants that you wanna, uh, different par partnerships that you wanna create. So you can write the number and an explanation, for example. The number of direct participants, which means the people who are directly involved in your activity. The number of indirect participants, so the, the people were, that were reached by your promotion. The number and nature of bilingual francophone activities created and offered, and the number of participant feedback on the bilingual and francophone activities offered. So we want to know what people thought about your activities. And the last question is the resilience of the projects during the COVID-19 situation. So explain how you will carry out the project despite the COVID-19 situation. Uh, so it's here that you have to propose an uh, alternative uh, to uh, your project if, for example, a gathering is not possible. So you must offer it either uh, virtually or you offer it with the social distance uh, regulation that are in place. So I'm just gonna save and continue a thing. For the third step, it's the budget. So in the budget, you have to identify the revenue. So you can, uh, you can also uh, in, invest in, the own pro in your own project. So you can also invest in cash or in kind with uh, volunteering. 
uh, and there's also con uh, conditions in the application process guide about volunteering. But there's also, if you have like another uh, grant from another uh, funder that goes in this project, you can also add it to uh, this project. But if you want to have a contribution from the Bilingual Ottawa uh, program, you just write here, for example, grant, and you write, I want $10,000 for my grant. So here you have the revenue total. There's lots of uh, expenses and revenue that are not eligible for the program. So make sure you read the application process guide to make sure that what you're submitting is eligible. For example, salaries and benefits must be equal or less than 70% of the total expenses. And the general administration must be equal or less than 10% of your total expenses. So for example, salaries, I could write 6,000. I could put 1,000 for the uh, general admission. I could put 1,000 for professional fees. Uh, I could put 500 for travel another thousand for promotion and communication, and another uh, 500 for equipment. So here I can see that my percentage of salaries and benefits is less than 70%, that my expenses total are 10,000, and you must make sure that your revenue minus your expensive equals zero. If it's not equal, it's a sign that you can't manage a budget, so make sure that the difference between revenues and expensive is zero. And it's really important to also put a good description of what you're attending to do with your expenses because you want to make sure that what you're submitting as an expenses is uh, feasible and it's, it's well written so we can understand what you're going to do with the money that we're going to grant you. So once it's completed, I mark as complete. And once it's completed, you can see right here that the, uh, up, that the budget has a check mark, which means everything is complete and it's ready to send. You have one of the four tasks completed. So then you have to upload your letters of patent and your, artic, uh, your article of incorporation. So you can attach a file. It can be a PDF, uh, an image, or a, a Word document, but make sure that what that the letter of patent or the article of incorporation that you submit is readable and that is official so we can make sure that you, your organization or your business uh, exists and uh, we can send you the, um, the payment to realize the, uh, the project. And that's it. Once it's all done, when the four tasks are completed, you review and you submit your application before uh, the deadline right here. So that's it for the webinar for this part. Um, if you have any question, I'll, I'll take them right away if you have any question. Or else you can also reach me by email uh, at ottawabilang at acfo.ca or you can reach me by, uh, by telephone by 613-744-8982 uh, extension 104. 